Hey guys, happy Saturday Swatch Fest Day. I'm so glad to be back with you today. I'm feeling miles better than I was last week. Um, I'm still, the breathing issue isn't going to go away, I think, until this pregnancy is over. They're actually giving me an EKG just to make sure everything's okay, but she really doesn't think it's that. She thinks it's just, you know, basic pregnancy issues with breathing, but also that it could be just my blood pressure is getting low at times in the day. So, don't worry, I'm watching it, I'm taking care of it, I'm staying hydrated, I'm trying to stay cool even though it's incredibly hot in my house. Um, but yes, I'm just, I'm chillaxing in front of the fan whenever I can, so don't worry about that. But yeah, I feel way better. I actually, um, the day before Saturday Swatch Fest last week, we went to the water park and I kind of forgot to put sunblock on myself. I like slathered up the babies and it got so crazy when we got in that I just kind of forgot to put anything else on except for on my face. And I'm pretty sure it was the first sun I'd seen in at least a year, maybe even longer because I didn't really go out in the sun too much last summer. Like I just really didn't do that much swimming out in outdoor swimming. So um, yeah, you know, if you sunburn really bad, you feel me, like not only is the sunburn just killing you because your skin actually feels so horrible, but also you get, you kind of feel like you have the flu a little bit, you're really tired, cranky of course, but um, yeah, so I was so glad for my brother for stepping in for me. Um, I was like, hey, it's gonna take me about an hour to get ready. <laughs> do you want to save me an hour and you can do it for me and he's like sure no problem and then he ended up having a lot of fun we actually filmed twice because the first time my second light ring I have two light rings one in front of me and one kind of above me um, to kind of fill out more lighting in the space that one was actually down in his frame the whole time so he filmed that twice for me and um, he is such a sweetie so Thank you to everyone who left him such sweet comments. That was so, so sweet. Um, today, we have a bunch of really great polishes to look at. Let me look at them and see. I don't think I was disappointed by a single one of them. I mean, there are definitely some that shined above the others, but I have a bunch of really great ones to share with you today, so I'm excited about that. On my lips today, I'm wearing this Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Bare. This is the number one. I feel like these kind of border... Like, they're barely borderline can call themselves matte. I really don't think they're a very matte product. Um, but they're really inexpensive. If you find them at the drugstore, I feel comfortable to wear. They're not drying or anything. So I actually kind of like them. So anyway, that's what that is. And on my nails, I'm actually still wearing a polish from yesterday's review from the Savvy Naturalista review. The um, blue this way, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to take this off. That's why it's still on. I fell so deeply in love with this polish because it's this blue-purple hybrid with just tons of holographic in it. I just couldn't help it, you guys. So I'm really sorry you're seeing this again today, but sorry, not sorry, because it's beautiful. So that's what you're going to be looking at on my nails today because, I mean, when Mama's got a nice nail polish on her nails, she's just got to leave it there so she can look at it some more. It makes me happy when I look at it. So... That's what that's about. Oh, I was going to tell you. Let me grab the palette. So I finally took my time to test out this sucker today that I hauled for you um, last Friday. So like almost a week ago. Um, this Wet n Wild Venice Beach collection palette where there's a bunch of them that have all these bright shades. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'm wearing it on the bottom. Like I was saying that I like to use these colors for. I'm using the yellow and the darker green on the bottom. Can you see it? I didn't have to put any white base under this to make these bright enough for me. For me, um, they're maybe not standing out a super lot to you, but I plan on going somewhere after this, so I didn't want to do like actual, like, I wanted to actually be able to wear it still today and not feel too crazy. So for me, um, I, I feel like this is really great. I really like this. Maybe I'll have to go back and see if there's any other other palettes 
um, that are different enough from this to warrant picking a second one up. This one, by the way, is called Boardwalk Boozing, number 34526. And this one felt like it had the most different selection of shades that I could do the most rainbowy <laughs> kind of looks with. So that's why I picked up this one, but I really, really liked it. Um, the white, or the yellow, excuse me, is super opaque, and the green has like a little bit of shimmer in it. So anyway, that's what that is. I totally approve. I love it. So, all right, enough talk about makeup. Let's talk about nail polish. So, for my red today, I'm sharing with you Red Red from Wet n Wild Wild Shine. And this is just your basic red, girls. This is like... Why do you need any other reds in your collection kind of red? It's super inexpensive, it's just a dollar in the drugstore, and it's gorgeous. As you will see, it goes on so nice in two coats, practically a one coater, but I'm gonna show you two. And it's like, why do you, we really don't need any other reds besides this red. I mean, it's so gorgeous, perfection, and it's so inexpensive. So, I approve the message of this polish. Okay, for pink today, we are gonna go back a few years, three years to be exact. This is China Glaze Surfing for Boys. As you can see, it's kind of an orangey pink, but it has this um, iridescent, like this bright pink iridescent running through it. This does dry matte. Um, this, like I said, this is from the 2012 Summer Collection. It is gorgeous, you guys. I have waited so long to swatch this just because I've had so many other things to swatch, but I'm so glad that I have it out now for this summer. Um, just a really great, it's hard to call something that came out just three years ago a classic, but I think this is a really great classic from them. Um, you can wear it matte or glossy, whichever you like, but I'm going to show you in its original form today. Anyway, I really like this one. Let's take a look. Okay, for orange today, we're looking at OPI again. I actually finally have another orange to share with you. This is Atomic Orange from OPI. I found this at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and it's just kind of, it's like a warmer, bright orange, and it's a great cream, it's great in two coats. I was looking online to see what collection this came from, and the only thing that I could find was that it was in mini form in an OPI Bright Idea mini collection back in 2012. So I'm not really sure what this originally came from or anything, but I spotted it and thought that it looked fabulous. So I picked it up. Let me show you how it swatches.
Okay, so let's move on to our yellow polish. This isn't really a yellow polish. This is kind of a, a golden shimmering, maybe khaki, but not too golden as you can see. So I'm not sure I'd classify this as a yellow, but um, it's gonna fill the spot today. So this is China Glaze Naughty, like tying a knot, K-N-O-T-T-Y. And I believe this is from the Anchors Away collection. Let me check. Yep, the Anchors Away collection, it came out in spring of 2011, so we're going even farther back. Um, this one, I actually needed three coats on. I think the concept of this polish is really good, but it's a little bit unfortunate that you need so many coats. Um, but it is really pretty. It's packed with um, shimmer. It's kind of this whitened holographic shimmer that goes all the way through, so you'll see as I swatch it. Um, I did haul this one online. I hauled it on Trans Design probably a couple years ago because I just thought the concept of this polish was so pretty. Actually, I think I picked up a lot of that collection because I really thought that a lot of the polishes in it were really pretty, um, which is true. But um, anyway, so this, what, this is what this one looks like. So let's take a look. Okay, for green today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you another spa ritual polish. This is Low Tide. I shared this one's sister last week, which was Blue Lagoon. And again, um, if you watched last week's Blue Lagoon did need three coats, but I did make sure to let Oliver know that I really did like it. I wore it for two or three days. That's how much I liked the pigmentation of that blue polish. This one is in the same boat for me. Just look at how gorgeous this, um, I don't know, do we call this a teal, guys? I have a hard time with teal and green polishes. Um, anyway, I just think it's a really, really gorgeous color. Again, it's called Low Tide. Um, yeah, it's so, so pretty. It is a three coater, but I still like it anyway. This did come from the Drift Collection, which came from the same collection as um, Blue Lagoon, which is just filled with just these really gorgeous, pigmented, but soft, um, colors like this one, which I really enjoyed. I do want to ask you guys um, I've been contemplating picking up a full spa ritual collection from their website for you um, To review the only thing is is their polishes um, The drift collection I'm looking on their website is retailing for eight dollars, but I think I'm gonna see how if I look at their most recent collection It's called pause for fall 2015 Oh, it looks so pretty, you guys. Um, let's see. Let's look at it in individual ones. I mean, there's this deep, dark purple. There's a gold. There's a copper. There's a blue. It's all these really um, yummy jewel tone colors. So I've, I've been thinking about picking the whole thing up to review for you guys. Um, but they retail for $12 a bottle, which is a little bit... I feel like it's a little bit much to pay for a polish. Granted, you've heard me say very many times, Spa Ritual is, if not my favorite brand, it's one of my very favorites. Um, maybe it's not quite my favorite because the prices are a little bit more expensive, but I was thinking about picking this collection up. It's a six piece collection and um, I don't know, I was just thinking about it. What do you guys think? Are you interested in Spa Ritual? Um, would it even be something that you'd wanna see given the price of each polish? Um, of how much they retail for, let me know in the comments below because I'm going to probably pick it up if I have many of you telling me that you would be interested in a live application review. So anyway, something to leave me in the comments. So did we even, I didn't even say, let's take a look at this baby.
Okay, so my blue polish this week is my A plus polish, so I'm putting another color in there instead. So this is a julep polish that I've had apparently since fall 2012 when I used to be a julep subscriber. They did a Trina Turk collection where she inspired a bunch of different colors and I think I got two or three from that collection and I, I actually remember liking them but I never did like review them or did a swatch on any of them or anything. This one is called Brandt. B-R-A-N-D-T, and I don't even know if this is available on their website anymore or anything like that. I'm sorry because it is from three years ago. So basically, it's just a very, very dark gray black. It's so dark gray that it's practically black. So um, I think this is great. You can almost get away with one coat. It's perfection at two coats. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. I'm sorry if you can't find this and you fall in love with it, but I do um, just try to get through my my stash of unreviewed polishes and this one was next up so we're going to take a look at it today. My purple polish today was my runner-up for A Plus Polish, and this is Dedicate by Elmasca. And I picked this up a couple sales ago on Hot Look, and it's just so gorgeous. I think I really liked every polish that I got, except surprisingly the gray that I picked up. But this, as you can see, is just a nice, deep, boysenberry, almost eggplant, purple, just the kind of color that just <sighs> makes me do that. <laughs> So anyway, I really, really loved it. So this maybe is tied with my A-plus polish, but um, just so that you know um, that this could have very well been the A-plus if it had been in a different week where it wasn't with the other one I'm going to show you. So anyway, you could probably do one coat on this, but I'm going to show you two. Let's get cracking. Okay, for neutral today, I'm going to share with you the last of the three little mini Zoyas from the last time, um, not the most recent collection of minis, but I had, I showed you Severine, and then I showed you Anais or whatever last week, and then this one is called Charlotte, and I'm happy to tell you, I didn't take this one. Um, I actually kind of liked it. It's a khaki, um, it's like a light beigey khaki. And so I kind of liked it. I was into it, I was feeling it. It's good at two coats, so let's take a look. Okay, this is me taking a breath. I've been talking a lot in this video. Just gotta take a little breath here. Hmm. The 
the doctor told me that when my heartbeat starts going too fast too, that if I lay down on my left side, that that will help it pass faster. So we're gonna go ahead and get finished here and then I'm gonna lay down on my left side. All right, so we just have two polishes left. My glitter polish today is Sally Hansen Tidal Rave. And I'm, this is from that um, limited edition collection of glitter polishes. So this is probably gonna be hard for you to find, I'm sorry. Um, if you super, super duper fall in love with it. Um, but it is basically deep blue, light blue, and black glitters in a clear base. And I'm gonna show it to you over Charlotte, the neutral that I just shared with you. My only complaint about this one is it seems like some of the black glitters were starting to come apart, so they were like leaving little pieces of black glitter on the nail, rather than them all being uniform hex pieces, which kind of bugged me for some reason. But if it doesn't bother you, then hopefully it won't bother you. <laughs> so while you're watching me swatch it, you're not like, eh. Um, but anyway, I like the color combos of this, so I thought it was pretty, and I thought that it looked okay over the khaki. So let's see what you think. Okay, dun, 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 dun. it's time for my A-plus polish. I'm so happy to share this one with you. I hauled it last Friday, so you might be able to start guessing what it is. It's an OPI. That might help you start guess what it is. Um, start guessing. I picked this up at, I think, Marshalls. Anyway, it is OPI. Susie says Feng Shui, and it's so gorgeous, you guys. Basically, remember how I was telling you how my purple was my runner-up um, A plus polish of the week? I had decided that the purple was the winner, <laughs> and then I tried this one, and I just um, kind of screamed inside my head. Basically, this is like, for me, this is like an orange blue, but it's like a lighter, brighter orange blue. Or orange blue? <laughs> what a combination that would be. Um, gray blue. You know how I like gray blues. Sorry for that loud outburst. I didn't mean to kill your ears just now. I'm such a weirdo though. Orange blue. Anyway, I love gray blue polishes because it just, I like pretty much love every shade of blue, but when they put a little bit of gray in there, it just gives it a little bit of subtlety that is just so soothing to me. And so anyway, that's what I really like about this one. The collection this is from, let us check the internet. Hmm. Okay, it says this is from the Hong Kong collection, which was out back in 2010. So this is our most throwback polish of the week this week, and it happened to be my favorite. Um, I'm actually looking at a review on alllacqueredup.com, and that whole collection looks gorgeous. So, mine, really, really pretty. She's saying that this is kind of a cobalt blue. Maybe that's how they're listing it. They listed it on their website, but whatever the case, it was... Amazing blue, that's how I felt about it. So let's take a look at two gorgeous swatches, or two gorgeous swatches, two gorgeous coats. we've reached the end. What did you guys think? I think a couple of you said that Susie says, or uh, is it Susie says Feng Shui? Susie says Feng Shui when I hauled it was um, 
some of your favorites. So I was so happy when I put it on and realized that I felt the same way. So anyway, if you happen to spot that in your TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I 100% suggest it to you. And if you don't find it there, I hope you have luck finding it on Amazon maybe, if you fall in love with it. Um, so that's pretty much a wrap, guys. Hope you've all been having a really great week. This is one of like the two weeks of going to the movies for me. I've been to the movies a lot in the past two weeks. We did Inside Out, we did Cinderella, we did, um, we did Jurassic World. I really enjoyed all of them, but if you guys want to go to the theaters and laugh a lot, oh my goodness, my husband and I went to go see Spy. It is, it has a lot of crass humor in it, so if you are not into that at all, don't go see this movie because there's a lot of crassness in this film. Um, but it was definitely a pick-me-up <laughs> on one of my rougher days. Um, I was actually, could not stop laughing, which was bad because I had a cough still. Actually, it's still lingering, but it was back when I actually could not stop coughing. So I was like trying to hold in my laughter because you know if you laugh when you're coughing, it just makes the coughing worse. So I was like really trying to hold it in because I didn't want to bother all the people around me, but it was funny and Melissa McCarthy she's just one of my favorites and um, if you saw the heat she's really funny in that one too and incredibly crass in that film um, but she's like softer in this one so I don't know I really liked it you guys it was funny it's a good date night movie it's actually when I go to a movie and I think the next day I could go see that again and it's just the next day I'm like okay I liked that film so anyway um yeah, that was funny, but also I loved Jurassic World. I heard a lot of like, when we were coming out of the theater, a lot of people going, oh, that wasn't very good, but I liked it and it scared me. So I don't know, I was into it. So anyway, what movies have you guys seen lately? That's another thing that I really enjoy. Um, music, nail polish, of course, my family, but I also really love movies because as some of you know, I've mentioned it before, when I was growing up, we didn't have TV, so we just watched movies. So a lot of them were old classic movies, um, but still, now to this day, I really, really enjoy going to the movies. So let me know if there's a movie you guys have seen that is really worth checking out. I've been thinking about maybe going to see Terminator Genesis, but I wasn't sure because I haven't seen any of the other ones, so will I just be like, I don't get it. <laughs> Is that what I'll do when I get to the theater? When I go to watch that one? Maybe I have to watch all the other ones first. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good stuff out right now. So let me know if there's something I should go see. I love you guys so much. Thanks for coming to hang out with me on Saturday. I'm so happy that you guys love this feature on my channel. It is my sincere pleasure to host it for you as often as I possibly can. Um, I try to every Saturday. Sometimes I have to have a little guest host, but I really love hosting this feature on my channel and I love that you guys love it. I have had a number of requests lately to just do videos on my channel that is just music. Um, as you know, I do produce all the music on my channel myself. Um, half to avoid copyright issues and also probably more than half just because it's such a passion of mine. Um, so I like to be able to bring older music and newer music and kind of mishmash it for you together. And so it gives you something kind of nice to listen to while you're watching the live application. But I've been getting the comment a lot that you guys would like it if I just uploaded music. Um, so I've been trying to figure out what the best way is to do that because, um, I don't know, like, what do you want to look at when I'm putting the music on? You know what I mean? And the other thing is, is I, I think I might be getting for my birthday in August, a new digital piano because the one that I currently have is 15 years old. And so Basically, it doesn't have a USB port, so what I have to do in order to get the music on my channel, if you guys are totally not interested in this, not interested in music, then you can just <laughs> click off, but basically, I record it all on my piano. <clears throat> my, my piano still does have the record function, but then, in order to get it to my computer, I have to take my iPad and go to, um, what's it called? The app that I use. Um, I'll put it right here because I can't think of it right now. But I take the app and then I record it into that app and then that app, 
I can record it from that app to SoundCloud. And if you aren't aware, I have a SoundCloud account. I think I have it linked below, don't I? A lot of you have been wondering like, if you can purchase my music. Honestly, I don't want to put it for sale because I feel like it's not a good enough recording quality to like sell it to you guys because I'm, I'm going from my computer, from my, de from my uh, piano to the little microphone in a mic an iPad. So the sound quality just goes way down. So like automatically for me, I'm like, oh man, I'm really glad you guys like my music, but like for me, I'm slightly embarrassed about it actually because the sound quality just goes way down when I have to record it into that little microphone. So anyway, like I was saying, I put it on my SoundCloud account and um, then from there I can get it onto my computer. Well now, then, then on my computer I download it and then I can add it to my videos. So if you are subscribed to me on SoundCloud, basically every song you will ever hear on my channel has gone through my SoundCloud account. But they only let me keep like 20 or 25 songs on there at a time. So I only keep the stuff that it seems like people enjoy listening to and I base that off of the fact that if it gets a hundred downloads really fast uh, by the way you can download any song on my SoundCloud account up to the first 100 downloads it's all free it's because I don't have a paid for account um, so if you subscribe to me you can have my music for free if you would like it it's on my SoundCloud account and if you check back there um, you know I usually am recording every other day or so um, you can check there and see if I have any new music and you can go ahead and download it be or cut You know because there's a whole bunch of strangers out there that are downloading my music that I Am not aware of who they are and I of course would love you guys to have it since you guys really enjoy it if you want it So that's where it is at, but it doesn't stay up there forever Like I was saying they only let me have a certain number of songs and it's only downloadable up to a hundred times so if you are interested in having any of it, that's where you can have it, but I was getting to the point that I think I'm getting a new digital piano in August. So because I actually care about the quality of the sound on my songs, I'm probably going to end up re-recording everything starting in August. And I have about 300 covers that I rotate through my um, videos right now and counting because I'm all constantly recording more. So it's going to be a big undertaking, but it's important to me because I do want the quality to be good. So. Anyway, that was a long spiel about music. Um, if for those of you that have been wondering about the music though, that kind of explains the whole thing. So I'll make sure that the SoundCloud is in the description bar so you guys can subscribe to me there and you can have the music for free if that's what you want. So um, yes, I think that's it. I know that was a long bit of news to share today. Let's see, I only have two minutes left on my card. I gotta hurry and say goodbye. So I love you all so much. Have a really great weekend. And yeah, that's it. Later, guys. Bye.